Today is Halloween. Yeah, it's here already. I'm joined by Ross Hemsworth, whose knowledge of the paranormal means that if you're going to call a Ghostbuster, you're the man for the job. You <laughs> so, are the official so they Ghostbuster. Tell me, so yeah. they tell me. So what, what does being a Ghostbuster mean? Well, it's all a bit of a surprise, really, the last year or so what's happened, because I'm, I'm actually a producer and director of my own TV company. Right. <laughs> so I'm used to being on the other side of okay. the camera. Uh, but I, I got uh, bought an idea called Phantom or Fraud about two years ago as a, as a ghost programme, which right. we've been trying to get commissioned. And along the way, there's been various spin-offs of this with various other shows. And we got approached by Lion Television to do a, a show called Ghost Detectives, right. which has just gone out on UK Horizon and, in fact, is on again tonight. Um, two new shows tonight, which is going to be great fun. In amongst that, we got involved in a live ghost watch as well at the weekend at the Tower of London. So I've ended up being in front of the camera more than I've been behind ah, it in, right. uh, in recent times. Ghost busting, I suppose. I hate the word ghost, I have to say. Do you, what you, would you rather see? Um... If we believe what the clairvoyants tell us, a spirit. spirit. If we believe the sceptics, an energy. Right. Uh, we're dealing with something, but we're trying to eliminate this old vision of this man with his head under his arm and the chains mm. behind him, walking like through the wall. Yeah, that yeah, kind yeah. of thing, yeah. That's Ghostbusters <laughs> stuff. Okay. Uh, what we're finding is um, energies, small balls of light with uh, inner and outer perimeters and a big aura around them appearing yeah. before anything paranormal happens. Now, the thing that fascinates me, I suppose, with this is it's very, very similar to the work done by Dr. Sam Parnia at Southampton General Hospital. He's now been published in the BMA Medical Journals right. as proving that consciousness or a soul exists beyond death. Ah, really? And what the okay. near-death experience survivors are telling us is they're seeing exactly the same ball of light with the inner and outer perimeter and the aura at the point of death as we're photographing now on camera. So you've got pictures of that? You we have, yes, that? Yeah? yes. Okay. I think um, they're, they're, yeah, so they're showing one here but now. See, but could that not just be a fall? You know, I've had pictures <coughs> coming back from the chemist looking like that. Yeah, with the, I mean, dots on them. we have to eliminate that. Now, our stills photographer, Graham Matthews, is a serving police officer. Right. Uh, and he's one of these people, he will pull them apart and try to replicate them. Okay. And you can get dust, you can get um, moisture, pollen in the air, which comes out very similar, but not exactly the same. Right. These things are quite different in the way that they have this aura around them and certain colour structures and a cellular interior. So what are they? Well, we don't really know. Um, we're supposing that it could be basic soul forms, the soul of a person. It's a bit like taking an engine from a car. If you take the engine out of the car, the car could go to the scrapyard. Mm. The engine could be put in another car, it would still work. Right. Now, if, if the body is driven by an energy source, then this well may, may well be the energy source. So they're just kind of the flying around not, with no kind of consciousness then, do you think? Well, fr from what they t tell us, again, you know, we have to rely on clairvoyance mm. for this. Now, I I'm still slightly sceptical of clairvoyance, although we have one very good one, Marion Goodfellow who's been working with me for two and a half years, and I've been trying for two and a half years to catch her out. <laughs> <laughs> tried Because you've gone into this with a healthy dose of scepticism, haven't you? you yes, you've I'm gone still go, slightly sceptical now, I yes. have to say. You know, um, you, I think I have to be. To be taken seriously and, and not to be some sort of wacko, you sure. know, I have to show that we're eliminating all the obvious first. Um, and one of the, the things that's helped prove the, the orb theory to me is Andy Matthews. He's one of my investigators. Now, Andy's got this incredible talent for finding where they are and photographing them. And, and he does it on a regular basis. He did it during the live show on uh, Friday night from the Tower of London. Mm. Um, he just sees them, feels them, senses them and takes photographs of them. So some people are more sensitive to this than, than, right. than others would be. Do you think, I mean, it's Halloween, do you think we should be scared no, by no. these things? Are you frightened ever when you... No, not at you know? all. I don't think I've ever been frightened on an investigation, although my team said I looked scared at the Margate show, uh, which you'll see again tonight on, on UK Horizons. Um, three, of, three of my team apparently appeared to get possessed during a, a seance, which was quite freaky. Mm. Uh, I think I was probably more scared for the health of my team than I was for right. you know anything else. Marion always says to us, you know, be very scared of the living. There's nothing to be afraid of with the dead. So yeah, maybe she's right there, actually, that, when you, you think know. about some of the people in the world. You've got some equipment there. Now, what's all this? What yes, does this do? A few little gadgets and toys that we play with. We tried a lot of this out, actually, for the first time at the Tower of London at the live show at the weekend, which we did with um, UK Horizons. Right. This thing here is a thermometer gun, and the idea of it is, is it reads the... the um, the temperature from a distance. So right. if they're having a seance and all the clairvoyants are doing their <gasps> bit, mm. you know, we can actually stand on the outside, point the trigger, and find out if there's a temperature drop in the middle of the circle. Now again, one of the things that does tend to happen is when, when the clairvoyants go into trance, their temperature drops incredibly, and it can be anything up to six degrees in six seconds, which right. is quite hard to explain. Mm. We've got these things, um, they're EMF meters, and what they do is they, they chart the magnetic field. So again, if there's a magnetic field change, you'll get an alarm go off and it will buzz and make some weird sounds. Mm. Um, so you know that the, the electromagnetic field in the area has changed. Now they right. say that if there's paranormal activity, the okay. electromagnetic field will change. These things are dowsing rods, uh, and these are quite good because they're, they're actually on plastic handles, so that when you're using them, 
it's very, very difficult to turn them or put them where you want. You can actually physically do it, to, you know, to actually turn them, but without um, trying to. Right. The whole idea is when you're trying to find an energy, you're using the dowsing rods to try and pinpoint the areas where the energy lines are. Uh, and if the energy is there, then okay. that's the place to point the camera is, hopefully. Ross, it is, as Mr Spock would say, fascinating. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> no it's problem. lovely to see you. Good luck with if, your shows. If I could just say one thing, Lorraine, I'll just plug the website, if I may. Uh, we've got a website that tells you all about the paranormal, right. which is a fascinating place to find out about our research and what we're doing. And we're currently looking for, hopefully, the second series. Right. Um, other haunted houses, haunted castles. So, so if you've got any sort of haunted Yeah, things, if you've got a haunting right. or something paranormal okay. happening, go to www.phantomorfraud.com and tune into UK com. Horizons tonight and see the show. I think, um, I think they're going to pay you lots of money because you said that about 10 times. <laughs> thank you I'm very so, much. I wish someone would pay me some money. Right, that's our phone in this morning. We want to hear your ghost stories. Have you ever seen a ghost? Do you believe that they even exist? Has somebody you know had a bit of a spooky experience? Do call us with your stories. Call now on 08705 945 945. Oh, sorry, you caught me there. Fix my hair. Right.